What is up? What's going on, guys? Trizzle here, tuning in, bringing you guys another great war recap. And man, oh man, do we have a war to show you. Because uh, yet again, the Legion of Doom has managed a perfect war, guys. Simply amazing. 75 out of 75 stars. And this one got real exciting. We had a couple 12v12 triples. Um, something that was really impressive. Kind of came down to the end, but that's how it goes sometimes. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, starting with the other clan, uh, we actually faced a clan, uh, the name of which is Barbarian Warlock. Um, they are a level 14 clan, uh, fairly decent by way of war wins, a uh, total of 277 total war wins, and of course, you know, we put it on them um, so that they lost against us, but eh, I guess an alright warlock. Um, but it doesn't matter because you gotta clear the map, um, and we did that with style, guys. Um, I can tell you what, um, the other clan. Uh, probably coming into the war was looking at our map, you know, because we usually don't attack till the very end. Um, and then, you know, we probably started thinking that they might have won. Um, I can tell you that you can't count our clan out that early, because if you do, you're going to be disappointed, and you're going to be in a situation, um, maybe like that one Kanye interview, where he's like, Ha, Sway! You don't got the answer, Sway! Um, so I suspect that the leadership in their clan was probably uh, none too happy after this particular war. But, hey, it is what it is. Hashtag long with the Legion. So starting with their hit, the hit on their number one base, um, I was actually able to go in there with a little classic El Drago, hashtag El Chapo, which of course is Town Hall 12, Electro Dragloon. Uh, using that wall breaker kill squad to be able to get in there, take out those high... Uh, value defenses, uh, set the tone, get as many air defenses as possible, hopefully take out the Eagle Artillery, um, and then you go in with your Electro Dragons and do work. Um, and this raid was perfect textbook. Um, I was able to get in there um, and be careful for those uh, Ice Golems on defense. It will end up freezing your heroes and it does end up taking away from some of the value because the freeze spell is usually a few seconds long um, and that could actually be very difficult for um, some some um, heroes if they're not fully maxed um, but I was able to get in there really prime the base um, I got the eagle down the air defense down and all three out of four air defense I should say um, and then by the time everything was all said and done we only had one air defense up and the electro dragons just got in there and did work and this was a super max base guys this was a fully max base even down to the walls um, so shout out to your boy Trizzle, uh, taking ass, kicking names, getting that three star on their number one base. If I was smart, I should probably start at the bottom and go all the way up. But unfortunately, some of those bottom attacks aren't as exciting. I would rather go in, you know, with some of that fire um, and then end with uh, the ones that we should skip. Uh, so here we have my second Town Hall 12 going in against their number two base. Um, it looks like Everything on this base is a super max as well. And we were able to take it down with Jai Wee Bo. Uh, of course, make sure you check out either the link in the description or the card above. Um, and I will link the, uh, the tutorial that I made for this army, which is extremely strong, guys. Very OP raid, especially against those open base layouts. But you absolutely have to practice. Uh, so make sure when you're done watching this video, Hop on over to the three-star tutorial playlist um, and do some homework, guys. If you want to be a baller, you want to be a man, not a man, but the man, um, you definitely got to put in that work, got to max those heroes, and you got to execute. So another triple. Uh, this one actually came down not as close as the other raid, but it was still pretty close nonetheless. Uh, so going in, we're able to get that triple without a problem. Um, and that was it guys, another max base 3 star, easily Rex base, and there you have it. Now the next raid was actually 11 v 11. Um, I went in, luckily we were able to clear the bottom of the map, so we didn't really have to do too many bully attacks. And this was a, a nice solid 11 v 11, uh, 
Public service announcement, guys. If you're a Town Hall 11 or 12, don't keep your Expos on the ground. You're taking away from half of the base's defensive strength in terms of DPS, knowing that the majority of armies, three-star armies, are using an air meta. That means either Dragloon, uh, Electro Dragons, regular Dragons, the Bat Spell. So if you got your air Expos pointed to the ground, uh, you're not doing yourself any favors. Um, and with this base, it was no different. Going in with the little Town Hall 11 Electro Dragloon. Uh, make sure you guys check out the, um, the tutorial that I made for that as well. Link above. Um, and you'll be able to execute this to perfection. Um, just going in, making sure you get those high value defenses. Take out the air defense, take out the eagle. Um, and then from there, it pretty much sets up the base for an automatic 3 star. Um, as long as you execute your spells um, properly. Um, this one probably came a little bit closer than I would have liked. Uh, one of the Electro Dragons ended up going down, and by the end of it, uh, we only had um, a couple seconds left to, um, as far as the total raid. But, you guys know, a triple is a triple. And when you're talking about max bases, I don't know if I could say that that's even an accident. So, shout out to my Town Hall 11. Um, I, and I don't want to sound too big-headed, but your boy Trizzle is flexing on the fam, y'all. Um, getting it. Two max Town Hall 12 v 11 3 stars. Uh, we had one max 11 v 11 triple, and this one is maybe not so max, but you know, it's still a three star. I'm um, going in with that Town Hall 11 drag bat, which again, I have linked the, um, the tutorial above. Uh, make sure you guys check that out because the channel has so much knowledge, so much of that hot fire uh, that you need. And now we're not talking about Dylon, Dylon, Dylon. Dylon or Dylon, we're talking about three star and bases, guys. So, again, put in that work, and before you know it, your clan will be on a win streak for the ages. Um, if you guys were watching the last live stream, you might have seen me talk about the fact that the Legion of Doom has actually lost about six wars in the span of about roughly a year. Um, it was a little bit shy of a year, you know, we're probably looking at about two or three months shy, which is still a lot, so I should probably say three quarters of a year maybe closer to four-fifths, but I don't know how many clans out there are even able to go on a solid win streak, let alone only lose um, about six wars for the better part of a year. So great job to everybody and anybody that's contributed to that you know, particular um, goal um, uh, in terms of where we're at as a clan. We are firing in all cyl cylinders. Ideally, it would be maybe nice if um, you know, we had a few more active members, but I'd rather run lean and mean. I'd rather run with a core of dedicated clan members, uh, people that are going to do their job, uh, execute the raids correctly, uh, support the channel, and do what needs to be done uh, so that we can all enjoy the game at its highest level. Uh, so here we had my Town Hall 10, and this was a 10 v 10 triple. Um, I actually probably snuck in behind uh, your boy Mike um, and stole his glory because he did end up three-starring this base, but I guess Trizzle must have got it a little bit quicker. Um, so, my bad. Um, but either way, I will give Mike his props, and if we have time, I will try to play his raid as well uh, because Mike is a technician with these hogs. Um, and if you don't know about the power of the hog You've been slacking, pimping, um, which is another excellent way uh, to take advantage of the strength of the three-star army. Uh, you gotta be flex, well, I mean, flex. You gotta max those heroes so you can flex, because uh, without those max heroes, you're gonna be at a disadvantage. Now, this was one of the bully attacks in the war. We had a couple that we did a couple, uh, couple attacks that we ended up doing a dip with, um, and this was one of them. So come on, dip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. And this was a home record going in with an 11 v 10 uh, dip attack electro drag loon and this is the uh, raid that I had linked earlier guys so make sure you check out the tutorial because it is extremely viable and it definitely will take down max bases obviously this was a dip attack so you can't really see the strength of the army but um, definitely something that you need to, to, to go out and learn immediately uh, so here's your boy Mike on his main account Mike W coming in on a Town Hall 10. So we're talking about a 10 v 10, and this is Bo Go Ho, guys. He's coming in with that Golem tank, Wall Wrecker, bowlers to take out the, um, 
the high value items as far as the Queen, uh, CC, and probably at least one Expo, maybe one of those Infernos, it all depends. Um, but by the end of it, I want to say he's able to swag a, you know, a heal spell. Let me double check. But he gets the double freeze down, make sure that the kill squad gets that push, gets through the core, uh, gets the release on the hogs adjacent to the kill squad. And then from there, the army just circles the base. And even though this is a 10, uh, Town Hall 10 guys, he is able to swag a heal spell. And that's what I was saying, guys. Mike is a absolute monster when it comes to these streets and these Town Hall uh, 10 uh, hog raids because um, he's on point. Um, so great job, Mike. And this is another example of what I'm talking about with that Bogo Ho um, using those max heroes to their full uh, effectiveness and their full advantage. Um, and comes in on the base on the bottom right hand side, uh, uses the golems as the tank, starts to set the funnel using the baby dragons, and in comes the kill squad, uh, bowlers to support along with the CC full of bowlers, and then from there the core just absolutely melts, uh, you'll have the uh, hogs that you release adjacent to the army, and they just circle the base, and we have another case of rinse, wash, repeat. By the time it's all said and done, he's able to swag yet another heal spell, guys. The the swag, is, the, the level of swag is, is just to the extreme. Um, and like I posted a couple of videos ago with that meme, no one on the corner has swag like us. Um, if you've been uh, uh, alive for more than about six or seven years, you might remember that song. Um, so here we've got Mike's other Town Hall 10, and this is yet another 10d10 triple going in on their number nine. Not quite a max base, but still, in terms of the execution, uh, your boy Mike has it perfected. Um, making sure that you focus on getting those heroes upgraded, guys, because that's one aspect of this attack that will not come together for you if you don't get your heroes upgraded. Um, and once you do that, things are gonna get a lot easier. I know I talk about this video after video, live stream after live stream, and those of you that pay attention know what I'm talking about, know that it's gonna make you a better attacker, um, but those of you that wanna take shortcuts and think it's all about the troop strength, well, you probably aren't gonna be three-starring too much. So great job, Mike. Um, and I think with this war, he pulls out well over um, a six-pack. He got uh, two uh, six-packs with two accounts, um, if I'm not mistaken, and he might have also had a couple other uh, dip attacks in there. Um, so it looks like that one raid that I told you about that I stole from Mike uh, wasn't actually from Mike, it was actually from Homewrecker. So one of the 11v10 dip attacks, I was able to get in there and beat it faster than he did. Um, so, I don't know. Um, but in any event, uh, Mike's going in on their number 10. Uh, weaker Town Hall 10, but it does have the Infernos. I don't recommend dropping your Infernos until you've really made some progress as a Town Hall 10, uh, which is going to mean getting your heroes up to level 35, as well as getting your offense so that it's on point, making sure that you have all of your Town Hall 10 troops, uh, three-starring troops. Um, got to make sure you've got your Lava Hounds upgraded, uh, the Loons, uh, Hogs, um, obviously the Heroes, uh, Bowlers for sure. As, as much as you can do, uh, the better it's going to be for you. Uh, so next we have Dennis going in on their number 11. And this was a 10.5, uh, so you won't see any Infernos on this hit. Um, but nonetheless, Devin, oh, damn it, uh, Dennis goes in and just takes care of business, coming in from the bottom left-hand side of the base uh, with that tried yet true and OP to the max wit slap uh, Town Hall 10 modified. Now you'll notice that Dennis is up and coming. He's sitting on a 35, 35 hero count. Uh, so great job making that progress. Uh, once upon a time, he just became a Town Hall 10 um, and growing up so fast. I don't know what happens. One day, you know, they're just going to elementary school and the next day they're three star in Town Hall 10s. All right, so uh, here we've got Dennis. Uh, this one is much more of a dip attack uh, going against their number 12. And um, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because it's very similar to the other raid uh, using a Town Hall 10 modified wit slap, uh, using the wall wrecker to really get in there, open up the core of the base, uh, really makes it a lot easier um, and it allows you to sometimes not have to bring uh, more than uh, just one jump spell um, and definitely you don't need any uh, wall breakers. So it definitely frees up some camp space and makes it that much easier to bring the troops that you need to clear the base. So great job Dennis. 
Um, and that's going to bring us to our next attack, which is a true 9v9. Um, this is a max base. Uh, the walls are very low. And I don't know what's going on with those heroes, but the defenses themselves are fully max. Um, and here we have Dennis's second account, Megalodon, uh, coming in on the bottom left-hand corner. And you might have seen it if you've been on the clan. You might have seen it if you've been a Town Hall 9 at all in the last year and a half. And that is the ever ubiquitous wit slap. Uh, those of you that don't know what ubiquitous means, first off, Google it. Expand your mind, man. Uh, prep for the SAT. Uh, ubiquitous means being everywhere. Um, and as such, this is one of those raids that due to its overall strength and ease of execution, um, it cannot be underestimated any way, shape, or form. In fact, link above. Uh, make sure you check that out. Um, I feel like um, I got all these gems nestled away on the um, on the channel uh, to make sure that you guys are successful with your raids and to make sure that your clan is push, push, pushing uh, for ever higher heights, making sure that you get the ever increasing war win count and those streaks as long as a year if you can make that happen. Um, so Dennis goes in on their number 14, hits up a 9v9 max defense triple, comes in on the bottom right hand side. Um, and this gets a very, very good push. Now, because of how everything played out, um, this raid could have gone either way. You'll notice that the queen is down to absolutely nothing. Um, and the only thing left was basically a couple witches um, and a wizard, which ended up dying near the very end. So he could have gotten unlucky, but like I said before, a three star is a three star when it comes to a max base. And when we're talking about a town hall level that's equal, 9v9, 10v10, uh, you can't really flex on it because three stars don't happen by accident. So here we've got Pickle going in on the number 15, and I gotta shout out my boy Pickle, uh, even though he shows up to war late half the time. Um, he has stuck with the old school Penta raids, which your boy Trizzle came up on. Uh, when I was a first, when I was first a Town Hall 9 using my main account, um, that's all I used, guys. I didn't really use farming troops. I did what's called push farming, where you use three-star armies to attack max bases um, in high trophy ranges so you can get the attack bonus to pay for your army and then just make sure that you're hitting bases that are worth hitting so that way you can farm at the same time. Um, and at that point, there was no bowlers, um, obviously no baby dragons, no electro dragons, none of that. Um, so you really had to be someone that can execute with Laloon um, or Goho because even Go Wipe, you know, hadn't emerged. It was very much a two-star army. It didn't have level four P.E.K.K.A.s. Um, and I don't even think Town Hall 9 had level uh, four uh, dragons at that point. Uh, I was basically level three. And I think Town Hall 10 had level four dragons. So the game has changed and all of it has led towards making things easier. Now, here we've got your boy, a legend underscore 32K coming in with a little Town Hall 8.5 Go Wipe. Uh, the reason I say 8.5 is because he basically has has Town Hall 8 troops, uh, rocking them level 2 golems, level 3 P.E.K.K.A.s, uh, level 5 wizards, and the only difference is that extra spell slot that he has, um, and the Archer Queen, which does account for a lot, but um, other than the walls being horrible on this base, um, it was still a, 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 a Town Hall 9, um, and I believe there were Expos on this base, so great job, Legend, getting in there, uh, taking ass, kicking names like we do. Hashtag long live the legion boy. All right, so great job and that's gonna bring us to the next raid and that was confusion um, Going in on this brand new town hall 9 no archer queen as of yet But fully max hitting up that town hall 8 drag loon comes in from the bottom right hand side of the base Zaps the air defense to start and get everything set up uh, for the, the deployment and he goes in does come in a little bit spam with the dragons, but um, it doesn't matter. He gets in there, takes out the base, and you've got to give credit where credit is due because we're not talking about a Town Hall 7. We're not talking about a Week 8. Uh, we're talking about a fully max Town Hall 8 upgraded to Town Hall 9. Um, so great job, Confusion. And I believe he got another 3-star for this war, so let's go ahead and hop to the next attack. Um, this one was actually by a brand new clan member named Sam, um, who's done a very good job uh, thus far. Um, I love the fact that um, he listens, um, and that's one thing people take for granted. They join clans with this sense of entitlement, uh, thinking that the clan they join owes them something. 
um, but that's not the case. So since joining, um, very positive things to say about him. Um, so I appreciate you know your um, your presence on the clan, and uh, good job, man. Watch how we do things here on the Legion of Doom. So easily gets a three star. Uh, uses a little bit of um, a back end uh, CC drop to take out those wounds, um, but by the end of it, the base is gone. And that brings us to the next raid, which was Caden. Um, and this is an 8v8 triple going against their number 19. Now, this base was max, um, except for, well, I take that back. Um, it was close to max. We had a couple cannons that weren't quite there, and one of the air defense that was still Town Hall uh, 7 level. Um, but he comes in from the bottom left hand side, well, the top left hand side, excuse me. The CC kind of threw me off. And he is using that tried but true Town Hall 8 Dragon guys. Um, link up above. Uh, I know I almost sound like a broken record, but you got to check that stuff out, guys. These three-star uh, tutorials cannot be underappreciated because I promise you, mark my words, your boy Trizzle always has you covered. You will benefit and you will be a better attacker by spending some time uh, doing your homework. Um, so here was Confusion's second triple. Uh, so shout out to your boy with that Town Hall 8 six-pack uh, going in on their number 20. And this, of course, again, is an 8v8 triple, hitting up uh, what's called a, a southern teaser, and comes in from the bottom left-hand side of the base. And then from there, everything is just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Um, and he just goes in with the dragons, sweeping across the, the base. Um, and by the end of it, they're just unstoppable. Uh, so great job, Confusion. Um, anytime you three-star in war, you know, you have to appreciate um, you know that that is not something that is guaranteed um, and for the most part you know your elite attackers are going to be consistent regardless of what they say um, so here we have Caden's other three star and shout out to your boy Caden uh, he was also another recipient of a Town Hall 8 six pack um, and that's why I was so proud of the play in this war we had so many members just stepping up um, and getting in there and really setting the tone um, now, I'm not going to say that this was the best uh, deployment, but, you know, he was able to kind of, you know, save space, uh, making sure that he raged those wounds in on the 9 o'clock corner, so that way he could at least take out the air defense, and by the end of it, um, he did it all wrong, but still is able to manage the 3 star. So I will say this, um, 3 star is a 3 star, but please make sure you guys check out that tutorial that I linked above, so you can learn how to execute these raids if you haven't already learned how to do so. Uh, last but not least, we had Little Uzi Vert uh, going against their number 22, and this of course is another 8v8 triple. Now Uzi Vert goes in with a, a loon heavy army, um, and it, it works. Uh, so he comes in, zaps the top right hand air defense, and that's going to allow him to set everything up so that he can come in with those dragons. Now, guys, make sure you're not luring the clan castle when it comes to executing for dragon raids. Now, I know this was a very much a weak base, and he didn't use the clan castle, but um, a lot of that had to do with the fact that this was essentially a Town Hall 7, and he was a Town Hall 8, um, and he feels that uh, he can 3-star uh, without hesitation. Um, even though it did kind of, I'm not going to say it came down close, but um, you know, had he had a, a full clan castle with him, um, he would have completely wrecked that base. Um, and that leaves basically the Town Hall 7s. Uh, this was a 7v7 triple. This was your boy Trizzle, his baby, uh, his mini account. And just goes in, zaps the, the top air defense, comes in from the bottom left and bottom right hand corner making a V. Um, and then it's just, again, wham bam, thank you ma'am. Um, goes in, trying to take out the air defense as soon as possible, uh, using that max CC in the clan castle to be able to address and take out their defending CC troops. Again, like I said in the tutorial, which you know, link above, oh man, I kind of sound like a broken record, but that's because I want you guys to be successful. I want you to learn how to three star to uh, the most effective uh, capacity. Now, this of course is Thor, who I have mixed uh, opinions and emotions about this guy. Um, it is what it is, but um, he's definitely what I would call adolescent. Um, but it, it, he still goes in there and gets a three star. So like I said earlier, I guess a three star is a three star. But this is an 8v7. And um, 
yeah, let's just say that this should be an extremely easy raid no matter who it is that's using him. Um, and that's evident in the fact that he uses level 1 P.E.K.K.A.s and Swag's a heal spell and the fact that he used a clan castle full of balloons as opposed to an actual troop that would help that army, maybe bowlers or even another P.E.K.K.A. Um, but that's it guys. The last raid is a, a nothing raid. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip it just for now because it's basically what you might call an engineered base. It only had one air defense. Um, but there you guys have it guys. There you guys have it guys. Um, talk about it. No, let me not say that. Um, but it was so good, you know, getting this perfect war. Um, if you've ever executed a perfect war, you know that it's not an easy thing. Um, and with the higher levels of the game, when we're talking about 12v12, it makes it so much harder to be able to guarantee that those bases will be clear. But with that being the case, guys, I will continue bringing you guys the best high-level Clash of Clans content and Brawl Stars in the game. Uh, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Appreciate you watching the video all the way to the end. Hashtag Long Live the Legion. Have a great day, guys. Trizzle tuning out.